Well, I was gonna shoot this video, then I wasn't gonna shoot this video, but now I guess I'm gonna shoot this video because of the circumstances I'm in. I'm waiting for Mrs. C to come with the truck to jumpstart the battery on the Jeep because I left the headlights on. Uh, in this video, I wanna do something that is probably a cardinal sin when you have social media. And that is when you talk about a subject that some people might think is completely unrelated to your overall channel. And the subject I wanna talk about is dry fire. Yes, it's gun related, but dry fire in a different perspective. And if you're dry firing, you probably love your farms quite a bit. And if you're a dad like me, you probably have folks you love, like your kids, a lot. I can't think of a better way than to bring those two worlds together and to spend time with your kids dry firing. Not only is it a perfect way for the kids to learn firearm safety and how to handle the tool properly, but it's a great way for you to expose your future of your family and the future of America into the Second Amendment world. One day, we're gonna have to pass this on to somebody when we pass away. And hopefully we'll have our kids and our posterity to hand it off to, or they've already taken up the mantle and started to run with it. Whether it's dry firing or firearms, fishing, golfing, or gardening, and I love gardening because I get to eat what I grow. Uh, it's just a perfect way to spend time with kids and your family today, because you probably noticed things are pretty darn expensive. You might have two businesses and a job. You might have two jobs and a business, or you might have multiple things you're trying to do just to feed the family. No, you're not alone. Know that, because I see that over and over and over again, despite what we're hearing on the news, and I feel it personally myself. Because it's hard to spend time or quality time with your kids, you have to make that effort. Those are folks you love, and I can't think of a better way to bring those two worlds together of folks you love with a sport that you love, like firearms. It's a perfect world for it. And on the note of love and people we love, as a guy, I was talking with my buddy today. We were talking about how the dad is able to relay a message only a dad can relay to a son because moms have a different way of relaying a message and, and communicating and disciplining their child. And I think that's true. I can't speak from a mom's perspective, but from a guy's perspective, one thing I try to do, and I have a son who's in the Marine Corps. You've heard about him. His name's Alex. Even though jarheads, we tend to be a rough and tumble, I don't care if he's on speakerphone with other jarheads in the room. I make sure to tell my son specifically that I love him. Because sometimes, as dads, we might say, you know I love you. No, I want my son to know, and my kids, all my kids to know, that regardless of what happens in the day or in the future, anything were to happen, there should never be a doubt in their mind, just like I know my Heavenly Father loves me, that my sons and my daughter knows I love them, so I declare it to them. Well, on that note, I'll leave it at that. I think Mrs. C is going to be coming around here pretty soon with the truck so I can jumpstart the battery. So I need to end the sermon. But I don't know what you think about that. Maybe the algorithm will get crushed. But I just wanted to plant that bug in your ear that, hey, spend time with your kids doing something that you love with people you love. So until I see you on the range, train safe, train smart, and train often. And don't leave your headlights on.